Hey guys, it is quote unquote your boy, Ballface8020, back again with another great response video. Um, I have actually just been diagnosed officially with sleep apnea. I was going to make a video about that, but I don't know. I mean, that would be kind of a bit autobiographical. I don't think anybody would really care, and like... Like, I guess the, the only person who would really find that interesting is me, and if even I can't get interested enough to talk about it, I think that I should either not make the video or wait till later. Um, but, so anyway, let's do this, uh, this thing about FDS instead. Now, I almost didn't make this video. I decided to go forward with it because, um, I don't know, I, it's something I've been, you know, thinking about for a while. It's like, you know, a lot of people criticize FDS, and I think that this post is a good chance to say, like, you know, like, well, you know, everybody says they don't like FDS. Certainly almost every man says that they don't like FDS. But to get, like, specifically what I see the problems with it are. Also is, you know, I've read FDS, you know, not religiously, but, you know, off and on for what, two years now maybe. And um, I've never seen anybody there uh ask for ask like guys why they don't like it um so you know i was just i thought that um you know i i, I don't know it just kind of it's just kind of interesting so if somebody's actually going to ask uh maybe we should answer and um yeah and get it all out there so everybody's clear about everything so let's take it from the top. A message to male lurkers. So what exactly is it about FDS that triggers you? Well, I mean, I can only speak for myself. Um, I, I don't. I have no idea if if most of the guys who are reading, F, whoever read FDS, are triggered by it per se. I think it might just kind of be like a mixture of morbid curiosity and amusement. I think that's probably. I mean, it's probably that's why I read it. And also to like look for material to, for response videos. Um, I, I certainly look. If I was triggered by FDS, I would own it. I would admit it. Um, there are definitely. I'm I'm happy to admit when I get triggered. But in general, I wouldn't say FDS triggers me. And do most men get triggered by it? Do most men who read it get triggered by it? I really couldn't answer that. I, I would have no way of knowing. But may I mean maybe they do. I don't know. Is it the fact that women are allowed to have standards? Um, well, in my experience, there actually are a lot of men who who do have a problem with that, who do have a problem with um, <laughs> women having pretty much any standards at all. I, it's something that I've noticed um, from debating guys. It was, this was back in my early 20s, you know, back before – a lot of this stuff was out, like, you know, red pill stuff was out. And a lot of men, again, this is my experience, and this could just be dealing with people on the internet, although I've met some guys like this in real life too, don't seem to understand that just because you are nice to a woman, it means she has to reciprocate that niceness with romantic attraction. Uh, that I have met guys like that. Uh, both online and offline. So I would say yes, some people do have just a problem with e women having really any standards at all. They don't. They. Don't, I don't think they're conscious of that that they're doing that. But it's it it is something. Um, is it the fact that women globally are tired of being sexually harassed and accosted and want to give other women safety tips? <clears throat> I am not convinced at all that women are tired of being sexually harassed. I don't think women, I definitely don't think women want to be sexually accosted. I think that that would be, you know, a disgusting thing for people to say. Um, I think that women like sexual harassment as long as it's the right guy harassing them. As long as, um, the, uh, I think that, I, I don't think that it, that's, that's a view that only men have. Um, and this shouldn't be that I endorse – shouldn't mean to be that I endorse any kind of sexual – I mean I don't care if you look like Tom Brady and she's totally into it. I still don't think you should sexually harass anybody. Um, but uh, I don't – it's just saying that women like are totally against it I think is uh, is not really accurate. Um, in fact, I can think of an example 
of um I was reading this uh, site that cited I'm not going to say its name and you guys probably won't be able to guess it because it's pretty obscure but it, it it's a it's a female only site and um the uh this I, I this girl I don't I don't know how old she was but probably she's mostly a younger woman so she's probably probably in like her early 20s or something she was saying that she was talking about how there's been time there was like this time where she complained about this um checkout guy at Target or something being really creepy with her and she was complaining about it to like a couple of guys I guess and one of them says to her, uh, well, you know, I bet you wouldn't have had a problem with any of that if he was hot. And then she was like, well, yeah, I mean, that's that's true. So you shouldn't do that kind of stuff if you're not hot. You should like know how attractive you are. And if you're not if you're not attractive, then you shouldn't do that creepy stuff. So it's it's like um so to just say that women have a problem with just sexual harassment, I don't think it's true. I think that there are some women who don't like it, uh, maybe a lot, but I also think that there's a lot of women who are cool with sexual harassment as long as it's from Chad. Um, and I want to give other women safety tips. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody has a problem with that, so I don't, I don't know what you're on about there. Um, is it the fact that women refuse to date men who lie and cheat on their partners? Yeah, I would think that some some guys do seem to have a problem with that. Um, I don't, um, but I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, so I, I, I see, I can see where you're getting getting that there. I, I think that most men though kind of understand that. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I want to say that most men understand that you can't lie and cheat, but, but I, but I don't know. <laughs> I really, I don't know. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. Um, is it the fact that women refuse to date someone who would be an extreme burden on them? Um, no, I think, I think, I think most guys understand that, that you know, you, that women don't want to be, you know, taking on you know, not just the financial responsibilities, but then all of the household responsibilities as well. Um, is it the fact that women aren't dial a pussy that will jump through hoops to go on a walk date with you? Well, the, see, okay, now we're getting to the problems with FDS. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a walk or coffee date for a first date. And I don't care what FDSers say. Most women, over 90% of women, for a first date, would rather do something like a walk or meet for coffee. Uh, and they, I, I've argued with FDSers about this. And then they respond with, look, women like fancy dates. Like, okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, you like fancy dates. You know, that doesn't, you don't necessarily speak for all women. Second of all, um, even the women who do like fancy dates, and let's say it's most women, because it may be, they only want fancy dates with guys who they're in an established relationship with. Very, very few women want to go on a fancy first date, okay? Because if it's awkward, then, I mean, if, or if it's, you know, it doesn't even have to be awkward. You just have to don't, just have to not click. Then what happens? Then you're, you know, it's going to be like, er, this guy shelled out like 200 some bucks and, I don't really feel like talking to him again, <laughs> something like that. Whereas like, and you can't really just duck out in the middle, but you can do that for like a coffee or a walk date, which is, I mean, and it's, it's the first date. So you really have no idea how you guys are going to click with each other. So, um, the, uh, so, and, and, and so here we're like, we're really getting into the substance of what's wrong with FDS because, you know, there are some good things about FDS, but then there's like a lot of bad stuff. And this would be a good example of the first. Um, is it the fact that women aren't willing to take up a project? Uh, no, I think, I think guys, I don't think guys have a problem with that. So that's kind of like a woman thing. Um, is the fact, is it the fact that women refuse to accept being abused as sexual pleasure? Yeah. Okay. Here's another thing with FDS. This, this, this is something FDS is really on about that this type of, you know, like massive, like kink in relationships. And I would be, I mean, first of, first of all, First of all, I'm not going to devalue anybody's experience. If if any woman who's had this experience of like, you know, dealing with a lot of guys who are into, you know, uh, BDSM type shit. Um, I mean, she knows better than me, you know, what her own experience is. But um, 
the th- and if it, if this was if it, if FDS was all Zoomer women telling this, then I might be willing to say like, well, these the guys who you're dating all grew up with with porn, so it's more of a generational thing that I wouldn't know anything about. But it's not it's not Zoom FDS is very few Zoomers on FDS. These are women from all generations, and if you're telling me that most Zoomer, I mean not most Zoomer, most millennial and Xer and Boomer guys are into that uh, BDSM stuff. I, I'm sorry, I just don't believe you. I, I don't believe it. I mean, that may, be, may have been your experience, but I don't think it's the normal experience for women, for other women in those age groups. It, it may be normal for Zoomer women. Like, I really don't know. But for anybody older than that, no, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you because I just don't, I, I mean, obviously I have no idea what goes on behind closed doors, but you know, me, I've never been in a relationship, but, uh, the, the, uh, guys I know, friends of mine and stuff and, you know, people, friends and family I know who are in relationships, like I would be stunned out of my mind <laughs> if, if, you know, that kind of shit was going on in their relationships. I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't, couldn't see it. Um, so so I mean, this is this is something I simply don't believe FDS on. This is this is a, this is a really big one. This like, oh guys, guys today are all into abuse kink. Again, might be true for for male zoomers. I don't know, but for everybody older than that, no, I I don't believe you at all. Um, flip the script and ask yourself the following questions: Would you date someone? you weren't attracted to physically, emotionally, mentally. Well, first of all, I would split those things up. Um, as recently as a year ago, I w- would have answered the question, would you date someone you weren't attracted to physically? Well, okay, okay, let's back off a second. First of all, I'm probably not the right guy to ask um, <laughs> because, you know, I'm that, that stage of my life is over. But um, the, uh, but would you, so, but as somebody from the outside, I think I could give it, but when I, when I was younger, I would have said to anybody, uh, man or woman, look, I don't care what they're like or whatever, or, you know, if you're not attracted to them, you're not attracted to them, you know, that's that. And it's, you know, move on. If, 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 if it wouldn't even really be fair to them for you to, to be with them if you weren't attracted to them, um, physically attracted to them. My opinion has changed on that. Now I would say if you're looking for a lifetime relationship, attraction I would say is something that's nice but that you should be very willing to compromise on. Because, And the only reason I say this is because the looks are not going to last. You know, human beings age like milk. I mean, have you ever looked at an old person? They're disgusting. And that's that's your future partner. I don't care if she, I don't care if she's a, 19 year old Emily Ratajkowski today. Okay. In 70 years, she's going to, she's going to be fucking gross. I mean, she's going to be disgusting and you're, I mean, you're ideally is going to still love her then. So, I mean, whoever you're with, when you're old, you guys, she's, she's going to, I mean, she's going to be gross. And for a guy, it's the same thing. He's going to be disgusting when you get old. So if that's the case and you, you want to be with somebody who, you know, you're, they're going to love you when you're disgusting and you're going to still love them when you're disgusting, then I would say that looks really don't matter and you should, you should compromise on that. Um, you should be willing to compromise on that. It's not like I'm going to, you know, give you the stink eye if you don't, but I'm just saying that logically, I think that make that's something to compromise on. But as for the, um, emotionally mental, I, now I don't know what mental attraction means, but emotional, no, I would agree if you, if there's no, um, emotional attraction, then there's no emotional attraction, nothing you can do about that. Um, and, uh, and I do think that women sometimes get a hard, get given a hard time about it. Like the guy, he checks all the boxes, but he's just not, they, the, the woman just isn't feeling it. Um, you know, that, that kind of stuff can happen. And, you know, if it happens, it happens, you know, whatever. I know. So I don't, I, that one, I think that I don't know if you, I mean, even there, you might want to be open to some kind of compromise, but I can understand that one. Uh, Would you be okay with getting sexually accosted by complete strangers? Um, Sadly, would I? No. Would a very large portion of men? Yes. Yes. If if they found the woman attractive, um, yeah, they would they would be okay with it. Uh, Men men just view 
sex a lot differently than women. Um, but anyway, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, well, look, I don't know what most of the guys who are reading FDS is, are talking about, but I think most guys understand that, you know, women shouldn't be sexually assaulted. Um, oops. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, would you be okay with your partner constantly lying and cheating on you? Um, well, no, I, I don't. So what? I don't think that I, I, I think, yeah, no. Um, would you be okay with dating a woman who isn't self-sufficient and entirely dependent on you in every way? What do you mean by entirely dependent? Uh, I think there's plenty of guys who would be okay with being with a woman who didn't work. I, I think that there's like a lot of guys like that. Um, you know, some of them, I mean, the thing is, that's the thing with, with women, you don't even need to tell them to do, to do the housework, to do the laundry, to cooking or keep the house clean because they just all automatically do that shit themselves. So like, there's a lot of guys who, um, <laughs> would be, uh, you know, would be happy, you know, just to like say like, look, you don't got to work. I don't care. You know, I can pay the bills. In fact, it, for a lot of guys, it fulfills the provider instinct. But I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I, I think like, I think maybe you're talking about, um, I, actually, I'm sorry. I just don't, I just don't know what you're talking about here. I'm not sure what you're getting at. Um, cause I've, I've heard women complain like about having to do all the emotional labor in a relationship and uh, I couldn't like I, I'm not even totally sure what that means, so I could I couldn't really respond to that. But it sounds like you're you're talking about like not wanting to put up some worthless guy who just lies around the house all day. Um, would most would that be okay with most men? Um, I mean, probably not. But again, you have to think like it's again you know that no woman would ever do that. You know, like unless she was suffering from like serious depression or something, a woman like wouldn't just lie down the house, lie around the house, living it in her own filth. Like, you know, a guy would do that, but a woman would like be cleaning and stuff. And that's just, you know, that's just how women, women are. So, um, I, and as for, if you think that like guys are expecting their women to, to, you know, not just financially provide for them, but also like do all the cooking and cleaning, um, I, I don't think that there's a lot of men who are expecting that. There's very few men who are expecting that, like almost none. So um, I think, uh, and where there, where that does happen, it's usually in a case where the woman needs to do it simply to keep the guy around. Kind of like how female lions give the uh, first cut of meat, first cut of the kills, to the male lions who didn't do any work for the hunt because they don't have a choice because they need to keep the male lion around to, you know, protect them and the cubs. Now, granted, I, I get it. Women don't need that protection anymore, but they still, a lot of them still just need a man, you know, like um, maybe not in terms of finances, but emotionally. And if you have a supply and demand problem, then you do what you got to do to keep the guy around. And, you know, that's, you know, I, I don't think it's healthy for it to be that unequitable, but sometimes that's just how, how things roll. In any case, I think very few men are expecting this. Okay. Very few. So I, th I think you're, I think you're way off base. <clears throat> Would you be okay with your partner physically abusing you, tying you up, spitting in your face and forcefully ass fucking you with the strap on? <clears throat> um, again, uh, there are for a pretty large, number of guys would probably say yes to that, but I don't think it would be a majority. I don't think so. I'll give you that. But no, I, I this is an FDS thing because I never hear guys talking about this. Like even on MGTOW boards, I never hear guys saying like, oh man, uh, women today just aren't kinky enough. <laughs> you know, I, I've never heard that. So this is, this is really an FDS thing. I just don't believe that this is widespread amongst men, except for maybe Zoomer men. Your answer to all of these questions would be a resounding no. Don't kid yourself. Well, I don't think I gave a resounding no to all of them. The, I mean, I sort of did, but I also sort of didn't. What FDS advocates is literally for the bare minimum any respectable human being can offer in a relationship. No, I disagree. I disagree. That's what FDS always comes back to, but it's not really true. 
Um, the FDS, you kind of have to read through the lines with them, read between the lines with them. Um, but what they would say is, first of all, let me say something. Regardless of what FDS says, there is a lot of stuff that they would compromise on, um, you know, generally speaking. Um, but there are a few things that, you know, if I've been reading through, I've been reading through them, there's a few things that they absolutely won't compromise on. Okay, so let's take it from the top. He's got to be five foot ten. You know, that's a barefoot doctor's office, five foot ten, at least. He's got to have at least an average size dick. He's got to be willing to go down on you and to be serviceable at it. He's got to be age appropriate. He's got to, um, you know, treat you, he's got to treat you well, you know, treat you well. And, you know, not necessarily by like what FDS means by treat you well, but by like what a normal person would consider treating you decently. He's got to be faithful. Um, he's got to make enough money to support himself. Um, and he's got to contribute at least something around the house. Like, you know, like he basically, basically he can't be like lying back and just having you do all the work and you waiting on him. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have to be 50, 50, but he's got to do at least something like some, like some yard work, some stuff like that. Maybe help with the laundry, maybe cook sometimes, maybe help with the dishes. Just do like, not just do nothing, but he's got to at least do something with the housework. Now, those things are, that's, you know, that there's nothing wrong with, with any of those standards, you know, um, but, uh, the, uh, the problem is, is that when you, when you do think about them, when you put them all together, like, you know, all, all eight things that I mentioned, you kind of have to wonder, like, yeah, are they sound reasonable, but, how many guys, like what percentage of guys really do fit those standards? And, um, the, and it, I'm, look, I'm not sure. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's that low, but it might be less than you think. And, you know, what FDS would say then is, okay, well, that's cool. Like you have to say that you, you know, you've got to have this bare minimum or you do without. Fair enough. But, um, you know, if a lot of the site of FDS is just complaining about how few men do meet this bare minimum. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, it, it's almost like, you know, I sometimes think of it as like female not dating strategy, you know, because I mean, the because, the, you know, basically, if you read there, the post and the threads on FDS, which which you get over and over, is that like it seems FDSers themselves seem to think that almost no men may meet these 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 uh requirements, which I agree aren't that high, but they uh you know FDSers are the ones saying men don't meet it, uh, which would tell me that a better solution would be to just eschew dating all to skew dating men altogether, you know not um. But anyway. Only the lowest value of men go on tirades and whine about FDS's misandry because they expect women to drop their bare minimum standards and expect poor treatment from men. Um, well, if, if a guy is going on a – there's a couple of things going on here. If, if a guy is going on a tirade like sending shit to like women posting on FDS, there, there could be a million things. First of all, there's a very good chance that guy isn't very smart. Second of all, that guy could have psychological or emotional problems. And, you know, when people get triggered, they start doing weird shit. Now, I'm not endorsing men going and harassing women online. Um, but, you know, you have to um, be honest that, um, you know, FDS, there is a lot of misandry on FDS. Now, you know, that's that's OK. I don't really think it's that big a deal. Um but there's going to be guys who get upset about it. And when men get upset at women, they don't react the way when women get upset at that men. Like, can you imagine a woman like sending hate mail to a guy on a MGTOW board? No, it's because they wouldn't think about that. At most, they would go and find like like-minded women to complain to about it. 
but for the most part, I can't even imagine them really reading it. They might like, they might read it, like take a look at it and be like, uh, these guys are jerks, fuck that and leave. Um, and then move on. But men are much more likely to respond with anger and then direct confrontation. It's just, we just, we just react differently than you. And I'm not saying it's right. You know, in this case, I, I really don't like, uh, men who, who go after women. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair. Um, because like, because of what I just said, because it's not, you know, that's not how women are for the most part programmed to deal with stuff. So it's not like if you go after another man, he's like, he's, um, you know, he's, I don't know what to say other than he's kind of signed on for it or he's built for it. I don't think you should be, you know, sending har harassing anybody online, but I really don't like, uh, when men go and harass women online, I really think that's wrong. But I mean, also, but I can understand uh, why some guys, um, would be offended. In fact, I think that there's, I've seen some stuff on FDS that would have really offended me, uh, when I was younger, you know, now obviously I'm a lot more mature and I can take, put things in context. And also I know, you know, one of the things about getting older is you learn to really not stay, take stuff personally because it's not personal. And, um, it's really not, even if they say it's personal, it's not. Um, so I think that that could be a lot of it. I think that a lot of guys are, who are, who are reacting negatively to FDS are taking the stuff that you guys say personally, and that's why they're lashing out. And I could understand why they lash out, even if I don't agree with it. Um, I have never heard of a mentally level-headed man getting triggered about the message that FDS tries to send. Well, I think that's kind of what I was saying. So, right. So these people who are, who are getting triggered are not mentally level headed. And, um, again, in an unlevel headed man manifest itself differently than an unlevel headed woman, you know, is, is a man is more likely to spurg out on you. That's, that's just, that's just what we do. Um, so you got to take the good with the bad, I guess. Um, and, uh, stop with your bullshit, double standards and expectations. If women refuse to date you look inward. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, well, I wouldn't, I mean, <clears throat> I, I certainly wouldn't say that to an, to an incel, um, the, uh, but I, cause we, cause there's like a lot of, you know, psychological issues there that I think are, are a big part of it. And, um, the, uh, also there really are people out there who just are guys out there who really do have a hard time just finding anybody to date. Uh, and this, uh, this is often the case with, you know, really short guys. I, I've heard this and, and I, I know that there's plenty of short guys in relationships. Um, so I'm not saying it can't, ha can't happen, but I have heard multiple guys. You know, I'm not talking about being a little short. I'm talking about multiple guys who are like, like on the extreme end of really short, but they're normal in every other way, maybe even above normal, um, complain about, you know, it being impossible for them to find a relationship due to their height. Um, so you know, some, so, so those are, I wouldn't, you know, say it's, in, I, I wouldn't to incels say, say that because there's mental problems. I wouldn't say it to those guys, but as for the other guys, like the more like MGTOW type guys, the actual real MGTOW type guys, I don't think that it's that women are refusing to date them. I think it's that women are refusing to stay with them. And yeah, a lot of those guys probably, probably should look inward, but, um, introspection is not really men's strong suit. Um, the, uh, so, I mean, I, I hear what, I hear what you're saying, but, but, uh, I think, I really think that you just aren't able to empathize with the way that men think or the way that a lot of men think. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say this in a poor men way, but I'm trying to say this is as in, you really just don't understand <laughs> understand what motivates a lot, like the, the thought process of a lot of men. And that's causing you to be more upset by men's actions than maybe you should be. Um, the, uh, which, 
I mean, that may have sounded bad because I'm saying like if, if a guy does something bad, if a guy hurts a woman or something, that's or, or anybody. But if, if but if he hurts a woman, that's bad. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be upset about that, but I'm saying that you might not be properly understanding the psychology of what would drive him to do that. And that can just create more frustration and anger on your own part. Whereas if you kind of get like, well, yeah, what he did is wrong, but I see the root of his misconceptions or whatever and his fucked up brain chemistry, stuff like that. Um, there, there isn't a lot. So I just mean empathy, not as in a sympathy way. I don't, I don't think you need to have sympathy for men, but with FDS, there is truly no empathy for men, no understanding of, of men and how they think. Um, and in that sense, it's kind of a mirror of, uh, of MGTOW. And that's, you know, what I wanted to talk about because, you know, I, th this has been being said forever, right? That, um, FDS, I've even heard feminists say this, that FDS is like, is MGTOW in reverse. And I disagree with that because M MGTOW is just a pure hate movement that has nothing good about it and really just hurts men. FDS, I can tell, is helping some women, um, even though overall I don't like FDS, um, but it's helping some women. And, um, also you have to keep in mind that there, there's just no, it's just not the same thing. It's kind of like how, like, 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 uh, the, the example I always like to use is, uh, a, a black person being racist against white people. That's wrong, but it's not even close to as bad as a white person being racist against a black person, because you have to put everything in its current social and historical context. You know, now that's not, it's, I'm not saying that it's uh, like on an inherent value that the, one is inherently worse than the other, but one is worse than the other because of, again, because of the social context. Now, if it had been the other way around in history, like if it had been whites who had been kidnapped from their homeland, enslaved, and then, you know, had 200 years where a large portion of the, uh, identity of the country was forged around hatred of, you know, demonization of white men. If it had been blacks doing all that to whites, then I would say the reverse is the case, like that it would be, it would still be wrong for whites to be racist against blacks, but it wouldn't be as bad as in when blacks are against whites in that sense. So that's, it's not, 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 nothing to do with the inherently with the race itself. Um, I hope, hope you guys, <laughs> I hope that made sense. I know I don't always verbalize it the same way. And that's the same way, way it is with, with men, with men and women. Um, so like, I don't think, uh, men should, uh, I don't think women should hate or demonize men as a group. Um, I think that the feminist view of history is very oversimplified. That this idea that men have conspired and oppressed women, and when the truth is, look, we've all we've always really worked together in every society. Now there may be some extreme examples like Saudi Arabia or Afghanistan where women have been super oppressed, but that's really more the exception than the rule. Um, the uh this idea this idea that like women historically were men's property that's just that's just feminist bullshit it's not true at all and and yes women had a lot of um a lot of you know uh didn't have the same rights in the past as men they didn't have equal rights it's absolutely true however e even that you have to put in context of like you know a rich noble woman you know would have had you know male servants or slaves that she was bossing around. So were, were those men part of the patriarchy that was oppressing her? Uh, it's, it's, it's the oversimplification that I don't like. However, however, um, so that's why I always, I always, you know, stayed away from saying that like FDS is MGTOW in reverse or as bad as MGTOW. Um, it's, it's definitely not as bad as MGTOW. Another thing is that you know, the problem, the biggest problem with MGTOW is that it's impossible because it's reversing who the sexual selector is. You know, like men can't go their own way because men don't, men don't, aren't the ones who pick, women are. So, um, women, uh, so like w women can have like, w uh, so it's like men who they say they're going their own way, but then they spend all their time 
talking about women. They're not doing it. And for understandable reasons, because they can't. But so an FDS is at least making talking about, you know, dating or trying to do it's just trying to weed out bad guys and stuff. It's a strategic thing. The problem, I guess, with FDS, though, is that it's the same toxic adversarial view towards the opposite gender. Whereas if that's the way you feel about men, the way that, um, you know, if you feel, you know, if your feelings towards men are that hostile, men as a group are that hostile and that, um, distrustful, then, you know, my first instinct is always going to be say that, well, maybe you shouldn't be dating men because it's not, again, you know, it's not, it's not fair to you and it's not fair to him because of, um, of, um, it's, it's just not going to work. I would say that you would, um, if you've got, like, I mean, I, people are always going to have resentments and stuff and you can deal with that and work, work, work with that. It's not a big deal. I mean, after all, there's tons of radical feminists who are in relationships. Um, and you know, who've got successful marriages. So, you know, not, it's not a, it's not a huge deal, but the thing is most of those radical feminists then aren't spending a lot of time on places like FDS just bashing men. You know, they, they may bash like the patriarchy, but they're not talking about shits like scrotes, you know, can't clean themselves properly and stuff like that. And um, when you're sitting around in a place like that, just, you know, just bashing men, then that tells me that you've got too much resentment uh, for men to, to really be dating and that, to be dating men. And then, so you should either be dating women or you should be waiting for that resentment to go down before you start dating. Um, another problem with FDS is it's, it's a radical feminist site. And when I say radical, I just mean second wave as opposed to third wave feminism. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Second wave feminism has some things going for it, unlike the completely worthless third wave feminism, but it's still, even good feminism is still feminism. So like, you know, a lot of men are just going to have zero. I mean, I'm certainly have zero tolerance for feminism. Like a woman says she's a feminist and the conversation is over. Like, I just will not listen to her say, or listen to what she has to say on any other subject. Um, it's just dismissive. Uh, it's just, uh, um, yeah, I have a, I have a very strict zero tolerance, zero feminist tolerance thing. And, and I think a lot of guys feel, feel the same way. And, you know, it's like, uh, because I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just a bunch of fucking nonsense. Uh, the, uh, so yeah, um, that's my thoughts. That's what I think. Um, I would go into the comments and review some of them, but I think that I got, you know, was able to get out just what I thought about FDS, like overall, cause I, I um, you know, and what, I, what about it I think is problematic. So, yeah, and this video sucked, I know. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next.